Hey guys, and today in this video guys, we'll be playing behind the scenes on Venji, the Echoes game created by Venji. We're playing behind the scenes on it. So without further guys, let's go into the video. Hey guys, it's me, Lightning. Today guys, we're playing bonus and behind the scenes for Venji. We did already do the bike ride video. We did the cartoonist made video. We did not do hide and seek if you want to see that, tell me guys in the comments below. We did do skeleton scare. We did do the helpless duo already. And also we did not do act one madness. So act one madness and also the hide and seek will be coming out soon. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. But right now, we're doing bonus and behind the scenes for Venji. Let's see how epic this content could actually be. Because <laughs> the game is amazing. Let's see how definitely how it looks amazing behind the scenes. Okay, so you guys can see right here. Oh, wait, 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 here. Hello, step on the elevator and let's go on your and on our adventure. Oh, wow, so use my knee. Step on it because it means you down. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see that. We. <laughs> see, Echo, so this is why I love your game. You just have first of all amazing story. Second of all, we and I guess wow, this is too amazing. Game development. Oh, do you want to do showcase? Okay, well, we're doing game development for us because it's like a whole bunch of different. Things. Okay, so right for some regard, welcome to development with the game of cool ideas. And okay, you guys should definitely read that. It's just a little bit too much for me to read, man. Oh, the first step we walk we wanted to make the game while I just didn't have any idea that came up with an idea of all facility that was broken down okay so he's talking about how you made the game cool yeah this game uh, yeah this game is boring I walked on it and for a bit made a walk door stripping realized how horrible the game was so I just moved back on the board on idea board Back to attention. After many hot tub sessions, I had finally created a concept I was proud about. These new ideas were, were enough to build a new game up now. Now, all that was necessary was to find a style. Oh yeah, the style. Force style. The force style was first created a test. The test in game through it was called glitch as well as well with the style and law the characters I wanted to really go with. So I did actually do the full gameplay of glitch, so don't forget to check that out. It's really cool. Look at this it's just, let's see. It's just like you see the style of it. And I did love the style look like cardboard. So I really did like the style. And it says here the new style has been been right based on the entire style of the comic book style used in lots of green and blue screens. Oh cool. Like earlier, tw early 2018. That's cool. Backlash. The game was finished on Steam. We went to the time. I was proud, however, on release announced. Um, and got backlash for it. It's uncreative and also mechanic, mechanical style. And to get, and get too much. So I started from scratch again. Started with the redesign. Main characters. The icon game was a frog-like character. After that, I went through the to the remade lore to fit the lore to include real life events after meeting my friend Justin I remember and reformed and added layers to the story to if the previously unnamed character knew had had a name Justin Neal so now to actually play we play as is Justin Neal I never knew that then act zero begins I never knew that actually so you learn new things when you go on act zero the unexpected end the uh, Act Zero was developed last after Act One was finished. Wait, what? After Act One was finished, he walked on Act Zero. Okay. I moved on to Act. Uh, after that, he moved on to Act Zero. I want a small act at that they explain how you can go to play on wherever you are. That would base you a better. Okay, cutscenes and mini game. Okay, so that's definitely cool. Let's see. Behind the scenes, I love seeing technical projects behind the scenes. Elements, one of the most complex scenes the to develop. I love seeing behind the scenes too. A uh, phone scene, organized oh, as a cut scene. It was interactive. Okay, so let's talk about the phone screen. Oh, cool. Created the phone screen. It was a challenge. You actually see this is a phone screen. So all you're seeing is just that. A cardboard. Oh, you can't see the outside rip. It says here, creating the phone was a challenge. I started with a mask as seen as the left would hide the tonal graphics, the text. The text were coded with new with new languages linking system I coded as well as made an entire four endings out of it. Two of them are good, but one of them is officially canon. Okay, so I did do a video of all the phone endings, if you check it out, but it's definitely cool that he did that. And I see this one. Okay, so it says here 
The bike scene was super challenging. It started as a completely flat road, but now it has twisted and turned turns. Oh, so you speak it's a flat road, but now it's twisted and turns where you usually played as. In the game, it was the game learned about behavior and adjusted from it to be fair as soon as the player and also it as a player. I mean, has the scene again after the pretty after the pretty boring scene. I needed something a bit interesting. It does player from the house to forest. What could be better than bike? So he rides the bike, and this is what it actually looks like. That's cool. It says here why he used a valuable resource bike when he could say resource and make a handle bar, which is more detailed. And the you if you could see the entire bike, why make it? Oh yeah, if you can't see it, why make the entire bike? And yeah, that's a smart idea. I do that in animation too, and I guess he does that too. It says here, as you can probably tell, this car wasn't designed to be viewed from all angles. Model for game, you wanted to see the least amount of the mesh while keeping things looking nice. As you can tell, the front of the car got much love than the back. You guys see how good it looks. Look at this. Wait, is it go again? Look at that. That's the front, and then the back is that. So, so yeah, you guys definitely see the front detail, the back is not. This ha- uh, oh, it's talking about this now. And what happened to the slide? This is called a cut, uh, cuddling. It's what a common tool used in games runs with the why put effort into them, calculating pieces the player can't see normally. Uh, watch, you can see, okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. So you guys can see right there, I actually muted the whole thing is because it had copyrighted music, I think. Oh, I don't know, I last time I did I got copyrighted, but yeah, you guys can definitely see that's how it was, the whole behind the scenes. And that is all done. Act Zero was created very quickly and result, it was amazing. It was one of my most favorite acts, even though it was so short. It proven as a great view of the future of the game. N the next act will be similar to this as Act uh, B X X. Stay tuned. Yeah, so we did actually say Act X was the, I think we Act 2. Wait, what? And all I know is he did say that some things about Act 2. Well, yeah, Act 2 that he did tell me about. That's me a different video, but Act 1 now. Let's see ya. Stage and okay, and also Act 1 is developed in two stages. It was split between two scenes and normally ward. Be flipped the flipped ward and, and the normal ward players. The different than the flipped ward is normally a design that you can feel. That you can, <laughs> I saw some like dizzy stuff here. And this is you explore some things that flipped ward is intended like makes you feel like you escape trying to escape this. Okay, so that's definitely cool to make it like the whole flipped ward idea. Room development. Each room needs to have an atmosphere but perfect for the first few rooms in Act 1. Rusted, decay, and falling apart. And as you get deeper into the building, and uh, the structure of the building begins to 
to straighten and out of the get less dis destroy. As I said, starting the mood. I use many technical to nail the environment down and add your vines moved. I think it'd be really cool if we made this into a video, the whole behind the scenes. But anyways, moved out of the visual way, audios, and stuff like that too. So yeah, oh, oops. Wait, what? I never even knew this was even part of the audio. Oh, you can actually hold the Venge plushie. Look at that, you can even hold the Venge plushie. Look at that. You can also hold this. You can make you shoot balls. It's really cool. Or you can hold this flashlight. The flashlight from the Flipboard. That makes it look all purple and weird. Yeah, I'm def- oh no. Definitely going back to this flashlight. So this is the one from the normal ward that I, we all use now. Set. In order to make the players, I need to create a bunch of sets and pass little details and move natural other elements. Fired alleys being reached with the player and stuff like that too. So let's just talk about the whole player thing now. Change in pieces. At the very end of the explore part of the game, you are met with a... With a pioneer, the pioneer is a creator that allows you to enter and exit flipped ward. This is the first time in the game interacts with the character. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Which one is talking about? Oh, this is the first time in the game you actually interact with the character. Okay, what's here? Wall break. At the end of wall break, E fix breaks out of the wall, chases a player, uh, affects it down. Well done. Uh, animation of the mesh was was the wall as seen as the right. The wall was animated with many different meshes and swapping them, swapping them out time with the animation. Felix, when he holds the wall cut out, the wall splits and falls into pieces and become. Oh, that's cool. It shows how like it breaks when you cut down the wall. I really did like that part too. It was really smooth. I, I loved it. Elevator break. The whole secret elevator break was and was launch into the air and throw down shaft. Okay, just talking about the whole module full time. Just just mostly talking about how it moved and also this how the elevator here. And this is the elevator that you can sit in and normally on. And if you click this button, it gets destroyed. Like it did in the game. It's really cool how it like falls apart and stuff like that too. Well, oh, is that? Oh, it's just on you now. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, never mind. So yeah. Oh, that's, that's glitched. <laughs> Oops, about that. And it says here, the big challenge of the one biggest program was help the helpless. I originally used Navimesh, but I'm working on it, it didn't work perfectly. They so I went with a different approach to create a GSP system that can calculate. Oh, that's cool, because like, that's how you made it. It took a long time to get working perfectly. Hopefully, it works well. Let's see the next one here. Final steps. After I finished development, I went to my room. I went my room by room entire game and perfectly everything as best as it could. This was a lengthy process, but at the end it ended up being worth it in the, in the long run. You guys should see, it says here remastered and original. You guys should definitely see how it looks way more better. The remastered and I guess the original. The original was remastered, hallway room had a bit a lot. So yeah, you guys should definitely see original. And then he has the creepy effect. So I definitely did like that. It was definitely what that makes him all creepier. Look at that too. Behind the original remastered. He definitely did a great job on that. Look at the way he was before and after. He I love the way he did that. They made him more creepier, making him more a better of a horror game. Secret lies inside the crate. Within the key, something put out the secret walls throw away. So that's the way to the next one. To be continued. Click the button to return. So that's it for the whole game. I love it. It's definitely really amazing, but now the next one is about the creator and about Xcross. Now, you have to actually pause this and you have to actually pause this and watch it, but I actually know about this. He's 89% of the game. He worked in the game all alone, and now he's actually an animator and he was a YouTuber and now a game developer. So, yeah, you created it for many reasons to make the games made more for his game. Massive skills. Worked 90% alone on the game. It served as, as a well expensed idea and concept not possible elsewhere. I love the high action scenes. And this was way of a shadow ex excitement. This game was also served as an escape from the pressure of being an old community, the old and old, in the old community, and the ways I I targeted, excluded, pressure, locked down upon all of that. The game served as an escape, 
Oh, that's cool. He's as an escape boy. So it's definitely cool. Like after two years of on of on and off development, here we are today. Hope you like it. So I definitely knew about the creator, but I didn't know much about this. So that's why I continued reading. I didn't let you guys read it. I thought I knew, but it turns out I didn't know. And it says you're locked. So this whole scene, this whole place is coming out soon now. But now the last one we got here, guys, is Showcase. I wish you go back up the elevator. I thought I saw something up there. I don't know what that button is, but anyways, yeah, it's this here. Forgot the lines. Okay, so let's see you before that. Once you enter, you need me to take you back. Stuck in this world, all who enter. This parallel universe has accepted a new victim. I forgot my lines, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, you right. cannot leave that easy. <laughs> yeah, he brought the lines. He was one of the helpless, so he fought the lines. And that actually line was actually never used. When he, I failed jump scare target, he jump scare fans when I made it. Uh, microphone. Okay, let's hear. Come on, let's hear it. <laughs> oh, he was screaming. The jump shot he makes a scream into the microphone, then heavily edited it. It has failed to attempt to create one of these scares. Maybe loud. In this one, here, line mess up. Early in the game, Justin walks before Justin was a character had been named. Wait, wait, what? Early in the game. Wait, I guess that. It's me. Like early in the game, the main protagonist Justin was was before he before he was Justin. The character would be named It's Lightning. This is this is a line recording from the character. You seeing this? See this? It's Lightning. Are you seeing this, guys? He wasn't a name. It, it's Lightning. He knew that was me because I I talked to him in the game. Wow, I mentioned here. Wow, I'm so happy. Seriously, I'm so happy about this. Anyways, let's let's see it. Let's hear. It. Boop, boop. Huh? This crank is broken. I wonder if there's a replacement I can re replace with. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really do lo lo love looking at behind the scenes. And now let's go on to. I still can't believe it's actually my name. But anyway, it says you're way too loud. Well, recording the lines of helpless, I got too close to the microphone and it resulted in when it hobble takes. Don't worry, I do voice lines in my animation, so subscribe to my animation channel, Cube Studios. And anyway, let's see. <laughs> Stupid crate, that's way too loud. <laughs> yeah, he knew. <laughs> he knew. He knew it was a little bit too loud. Let's see this one. Lucy opening. One of the line character for X Lucy. Okay. Wait, over no explanation, explanation needed. Let's see here. And, uh, oh. Oh, it's just Lucy being Anna Ooping. Oh, okay. And it's just your showcase. Stand on okay, to the teleport to the showcase room. And you go here. You can see the cartoonist. You can see? The cartoonist right there. The cartoonist is the character. I move in, you can see the Okay, so this is talking mostly about the cartoonist here. And it definitely looks cool. This is your fun fact, this was the newest model made. Oh, so you made this one the last one he ever made. And also, you right-click to see this and zoom in. So that's definitely cool. Cool. the printer. Oh, every paint. Oh, this is the one you're talking about. This is the one he was talking about. With an ominous creature, after losing her arms, tragically she realized the voice. Only creature of the Venge War who could appear in the real world. She, she has the ability to transport, uh, transport any matter touch between the wall, the with, between the walls, and will. The fun fact is the first model I, I model. The model isn't perfect, but who is? So it's okay. I still love the model. It's still a scary character. The very first jump scare I ever got. And then I got here the the Lassiter. Um, I think his name is Lassiter, but let me see. Okay. Okay, Lassiter. That looks really good. That after after losing his eyes in a tragic event, the scene of hearing increased dramatically. But he can hear everything you uh, you say about him. So be careful, Lassiter. Enjoys walks. That that was with with him. He's back at home. He enjoyed. He dream in wait what? His dream in life is to fix. Oh, to fix. I thought it was a Felix was saying the e fix to fix wrong with the world, such as foolish dreams that he cannot do such thing as. Fun fact: He was never planned. I he. Fun fact: He was never planned. I made the model in school one day when I was when I was bored and walked and walked wrote the story out around the model. Oh, that's definitely cool. You guys can see the whole thing about it, but that's definitely cool. 
Anyways, the next one right here. You got the helpless. Wait. Let's see. Got here the helpless. You actually see the rays a little helpless in the model. And the helpless is a real creature. Not much else to say after dying in, in and after dying in a potted. The plant he a bottle. Oh, so that's why he what? He died in a bottled plant. And he was straight into what he is now, the thirst, blood, and for strawberries. For thirst and blood and strawberries. So he looks strawberries and blood. Like, in fact, I have heard time finding voice actor. No one could really nail who role. Luckily, I found that a person, the person that requested to be anonymous. So they are. So someone actually did it. So I thought it was him. I thought I thought Agricoster voice is this or Ethan. I thought he oh yeah, Ethan someone else is there. I don't know, I don't know, I forgot the names. But I, I thought he voiced him. But anyway, it says here. And fun fact too, the only reason why he doesn't have a mouth is I didn't want to lip sync his dialogue. Wow, that's actually smart. <laughs> Super smart. Anyways. Felix. E fix, I mean. Efex is definitely a cool character. Efex is, is not much to know about him. He was serious. I don't know. Just stop judging him. <laughs> like, fun fact, I made this model in school. Some boy came up to me and told me I would make a great horror game. A little boy did. He, little little did he know. He, he didn't know. He, I mean, he didn't know. And after that fun fact, too, this was... This was the first model I ever strapped of him. Texture, painted in blender. Fun fact three, he vent his, his vent scene was was gone through so much change, at least ten iterations. I didn't know about one of them in glitch, but seeing him now is definitely a cool character. I definitely did like him. The skeletons. And I think it's something wants to say about the skeletons. The skeletons, you know. The skeletons. So you can see our skeletons. No quite no. They came from, but they're humans, human flesh, probably because they're probably because of them, speaking of them. Muscles, don't know, but some sensitive. Fun fact: models made with hands, with handmade technology was kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I made the texture in Photoshop. The, ra the that rally rally almost happens. Creature made it. Okay, so he made something in Photoshop and he usually makes some Blender. Ah, it's so cool. I still like him. Now, last two. Locked. No mind. Uh, another one. This one. Whatever that one is. And here. Chambers of Scares. Oh no. How do you know what this is gonna be about, huh? Chambers of Scares. You know what? If you guys get this video to 10,000 likes, I mean, if you get this video guys to 100 likes, I'll go into Chambers of Scares. So yes guys, I'll go into Chambers of Scares if you get this video. 100 likes. Goodbye, guys.